Spider-Man Remastered is definitely a great game on Steam Deck, but how do you get the best out of the performance? Well, we're going to have a look at some of the best settings to run this on your Steam Deck, and to show off some of those settings side by side, you have a 30 FPS, 40 FPS, and an FSR 2 version running on your screen. See if you can guess which one is which, and I'll reveal them as we do the settings. This will be important for your choice later on. Starting with what I think is the easiest and potentially the best settings for your Steam Deck is a capped 30 FPS mode on the Steam Deck itself. And I'm going to miss these cameos from Stan Lee. These really were the highlight of a lot of the films for me. And seeing this in game is absolutely fantastic. So let's have a look at the settings here then. 30 FPS cap on the Steam Deck itself. Medium default settings with the motion blur strength turned off. Upscale off dynamic resolution off and the anti-aliasing on TAA. You'll see that we get a pretty much rock solid 30 frames per second. We do still falter occasionally doing some of the tricks up high up in the sky, which dips down into the 27 FPS range. So we get a very small blip occasionally, but otherwise it is extremely solid. And that power draw is not as bad as we see either. And in battles, again, we see a little bit of a blip here and there. But generally, the frame rate is absolutely solid and the frame time solid as well. So quick and easy best settings will be the medium settings in game. Motion blur off and that 30 FPS cap with 60 Hz refresh rate on the Steam Deck. Now you can tweak this a little bit more if you want to get even more out of your 30 FPS then up this to high texture quality and then drop the traffic and crowd density down to low and you can actually put the texture filtering up to four times if you wish and it looks a little bit better and I'd say actually this looks a lot better because it's much clearer on the Spider-Man suit and the buildings around and we get that super solid 30 as well with much less blip. So this is actually the left image at that start there. And that's why it probably looks the cleanest and best quality as well. So it gets rid of a lot of those spikes by removing that traffic density and the texture quality on high makes it look absolutely fantastic. Now I was quite excited to see FSR2 implemented in this game. However, I was very gutted to see this in use. So here is balance and to be honest it really didn't make a huge amount of difference between the two. I also had the Steam Deck capped at 40 FPS although it really couldn't handle it on medium and just look at how bad that quality is around Spider-Man's suit and the feathering on the actual buildings as well. Although it does hold closer to that 40 FPS the quality degradation here is absolutely hideous in my book and I'm really disappointed with the FSR2 implementation so I really don't recommend using it at all. This was the centre video on the initial intro but I really don't recommend using it. Now on to one of my favourite settings and what I generally end up playing on the Steam Deck most of the time with all the upscaling etc turned off. Medium settings default with the depth of field on low and then all of the other settings down the bottom here off the crowd density and traffic density on medium although actually I have dropped that down to low in further testing as well as putting that texture quality back to high on 40 fps but 40 fps isn't possible while swinging consistently however during battles and a lot of the indoor scenes it really does feel a little bit better for me however swinging around can feel a little bit jerky However, if you want to just get that little bit more FPS and you don't mind a little bit of the frame pacing here and there, then 40 FPS with these settings will certainly feel a little bit better than 30. So if you want the consistency, then go with that 30 FPS settings and the second version. And if you want 40, then you can just tweak them down a little bit more and get that 40 fps with a few dips into the 30 range there you have it there are my best settings for spider-man remastered on steam deck let us know in the comments below if you've managed to get any better 60 fps just has not been possible we can get 60 fps for all about five seconds at a max if you don't move anywhere so not the aim for this one don't forget you can also follow us on twitter and discord for real-time updates thanks for watching and see you in the next one Pro tip, if you're not good at breaking or entering, maybe don't pull a B&E.